Hey guys, it's me, not Blumity Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna tell you a personal story, okay? I guess uh, I just, this is my first time doing it, and yeah. My full name is Julian Anthony H. Wahed. You can call me Julian or just the author name. Okay, so I started making videos when I was like 9 years old. Uh, I used to run a lot of YouTube channels. Uh, that was like a thing. Eh, it comes to mind I want to run a successful YouTube channel. It's just that I have a lot of ambitions. But... I didn't know like at the time how to transfer account from one device to another so I so I ended up using a lot of my accounts even one of the accounts that I in my mom's but we're gonna talk about my whole history of my life and I'm very excited to do that let's do it okay okay let's start so when I was a, a little man, a little boy, and when I was like a baby at the time, I did I didn't like communicate properly like like you or anyone does when they're infants. What I mostly do is when I need something, when I want something, I always grab my parents' hands. And they do that. Well, I I am non-verbal autistic at the time and my my parents actually noticed that and when I was like two years old and they diagnosed me with a autism spectrum disorder what kind well not Asperger's it's actually non-verbal autism yeah I spend it most of my life in in the uh, most of my childhood one of my infancy at at uh, at uh, OT mostly in the rehab. I have like a non non verbal, so I had to be placed in spe speech therapy and occupational therapy. Yes, I am always in that. And yeah, and I have very poor eye contact. I especially if I'm nervous. When I'm nervous, I do not look straight in the eyes because I got called once in my life. For a day, forced me to look straight in the eyes. I didn't look because I actually new to the world, and sometimes I want to hide myself from getting myself into trouble. And I don't want to be pagalitan since I don't want. They don't want to be pagalitan. Sorry if I speak Filipino. Uh, my nationality is Filipino. I didn't tell you that, or maybe I told you that. Maybe I had a lot of Filipino references, but it doesn't matter. I don't care. Ah. And school, uh, I, I was, yeah, I was so scared, most of all, and in big things in my life happened, I got my first year evaluation, yeah, I don't remember, I, I, I'll try asking my mother, uh, I still live with my parents, I'm not an adult already, yeah, even though I run the channel, I'm still a kid, uh, 2014, 2016 oh yeah thank you 2016 yeah my first evaluation 2016 was the autism spectrum disorder since i got autism spectrum disorder i had to go yearly evaluation with my developmental pediatrician yeah so yes i had to do with it and you know we would not know and we will skip we will keep on getting more OT and and ST speech therapy okay so yeah we keep on getting this every year proper schedule to it anyways yeah I learn new things and I do not know the world yeah yeah I do learn new things and I am curious always curious like for example uh what if i what if the do i still make noise if i even if i close my ears and scream and what if like 
out there in the sky and what would be the possibilities preschool nursery and kindergarten we have like this one thing in the sped education way before nursery or pre pre kindergarten or yeah it's this thing called isolation education the way of the way you heard it yes but it's not what you think of or it made me what you think of it's just one one student and one teacher in a small room yeah i actually experienced it when i was like when i was like little like few years ago six years ago if i remember yeah way before we get to be like in grade one we have this and my teacher yeah the teacher and i always experience that if we don't have classrooms that we can socialize or play together we only mostly did our lessons and isolated yeah we don't have that and yeah i also met a girl named yanni well she's my friend ever since now yeah i met her yes and yeah yeah and then when i was in kindergarten i i decided finally i have like a teacher and the teacher she will she will just like teach us and finally we get to socialize we get to introduce the kids so the first the kid named enzo enzo uh, he goes like this he goes like that enzo goes like that yeah and then there's another girl what she do is she keeps on singing yeah so she yeah uh, she uh, keep on singing and we have yanni uh yadi uh, she is the one the I used to have very, pretty bad handwriting. Yup, I still have it today, but not that bad as that. Yes. And the next chapter in 8 minutes or to 9 minutes, I'm gonna tell you my whole experience in grade 1. Uh, I think it's 7, 7, yeah, 7 minutes left. Few minutes left, okay. Few seconds, few seconds left, so. so. Yep. We're waiting. Anyway. So yeah, eight minutes left. So yeah, I was started to do really well at school. I was very obedient. I follow what the teacher said and yeah. Unlike my other classmates, they're pretty rude and they every time the teacher left they always go chaotic. Like Yeah, I remember Kyle and Evan. Yes. Evan. Evan was in our school. Like it was grade one Makabayan and our teacher our teacher doesn't have to do with them. They still Yeah. And in our Filipino AP and Matt we have to go to the inclusion. We have to go to the inclusion, okay? We went to the inclusion because, yeah, we need like special explanation and all of that, and it's very special. And because we have, we don't have like a good understanding. One of our classmates in the inclusion, we have Marcos. Marcos is a grade two student. I was grade one at the time, and he's grade two. second. Filipino we have Dash the guy with the fat guy with glasses and yeah he the huge guy the chubby kid with glasses he's with us yeah and yes and then we have Yanni Yanni sometimes come to our Filipino yeah and we have like the, the I know math was the pretty hard subject but you know I did have like an award called an award called the, the Brave Soda War. So I stand a chance to any of these endeavors. I was so resilient. Resilience is the key. And and for math, 
is resilience. I am resilient of everything. And I also have a lot of imagination and creativity. I, do you know that before I start the YouTube channel, I have like a passion of cars. I always love cars. I love drawing cars. I love drawing about hills and cars and, and drawing about car accidents. They're one of my favorite things. I, I enjoy playing it because it's so fun. It's hill climb racing and that's where I, that's the part where I draw. If I don't, if I don't have my phone in the house, I just draw. Well, I don't have like a clipboard, clipboard like like I have today or sketchbook. I only I only had to draw in my notebook. In the in the writing session, I got into trouble. Yeah, I got into trouble. I got into trouble with the teacher with when I keep on drawing in the notebook. Eh, you know, everyone does that. Seriously. So, yeah. That was a very good and experience. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Without without them, without my friends, without my without Marcos, I wouldn't have been so courageous. Like I was so scared of everything. And and Marcos, he taught me how to be mischievous and how to be how to be a good person. He I cannot do it without him. Shout out to Marcos. Shout out to Marcos. The one, the, the grade 8. Now the person who's grade 8. Shout out to him. Or grade 7, depending. Shout out. Yeah. Uh, yes, I, yes, I done. I, I like it. Anyways, when the day have arrived, finally it's now locked down. So I had to spend most of my, most of my school at home. Home school, and I got the Brave Solo one in in the EMR, and that was pretty. Yeah, without the help of my parents, I couldn't I couldn't achieve it. So thank you, thanks for listening to me, and see you. Good night. Thank you.